Tobago, Trinidad, the region, the wider world. This is what's in due political leader of the progressive democratic patriots. On last week, Thursday, I'm clear an atrocity was committed against the progressive democratic patriots by the chief secretary of the Tobago Super Assembly, who is a member of that party. He would have made an attack that was less than kind and that was not child's play. He sought to bring the party into disrepute and made a mockery out of the political leaders overture for 27 Tobagonians to be fed who are in the dire streets. Regardless of how persons may twist and turn the issue on social media, it was a humanitarian issue. And it was a direct appeal to the Tobago House of Assembly, who was sitting at that point in time in Executive Council, to make a decision on this and say, okay, political leader, we will deal with this issue. And so, a small issue spiraling out into a larger issue seems to be a storm in a teacup. And for some folks, this cannot be the issue. And you're right, it cannot be the issue. It is not just the issue. The real substantive issue is the fact that the Chief Secretary and some of his executive officers of the THE have shown total disrespect and disdain for the Progressive Democratic Patriots executive. This party was the one who sponsored all of them and placed all of them into government. Since they have entered into the THE, they have refused to meet the executive, they have refused to discuss with the executive what are the mandates they have taken from the party and are now trying to form into policy. They have refused to treat with the party in a respectful manner and also in a submissive manner around the world. It's a known fact that party drives government, not government drives the party. The party must answer to the people and the politicians must answer to the party. Again, I repeat, the party must answer to the people and the politicians answer to the party. In this case, the PDP must answer to the people of Tobago and the THE must answer to the PDP because the PDP represents the people. This is a social contract spoken of in the Constitution. This is a social contract that a citizen engages in with the government. I am of the firm view that this matter does not rest and it will not sleep until the PDP executive has been given the respect it deserves and it should get. The Chief Secretary must know and will soon come to understand that he is simply a reflection of the party. And the party is a reflection of the people. You are no lone wolf. You are no boss. You are simply a hireling, hired to the party by the people to facilitate Tobago. I repeat, the Chief Secretary is simply a hireling, hired through the PDP by the people to satisfy the desires of Tobago. And so the issue of autonomy is an issue the party has been trying to treat with. What has happened to the office that should be set up in Trinidad? The Chief Secretary has been tiptoeing around the issue, he has been playing on that issue, he has failed to secure an office for that autonomy issue and that um, intergovernmental relationship issue. He has failed to do that. All he talking about it in the budget was simply showboating, simply PR stunts. He has done nothing to this day. That was given to him since December last year. On the issue of foreign direct investments, I could tell you now, there are many people around the world who want to invest, but the Chief Secretary, again, he does not provide the environment for that. Where are the staff I'm supposed to have to treat with that issue? I am placed in a cramped place that can best be described as a foul coat. With little or no staff, I've been given an administrator who is pig-headed, who, 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 who refuses to cooperate and assist and uses the law. And though I would have written 
to the Chief Secretary on many occasions about the atrocities and the errant ways of this um, administrator. He's told me on many occasions, we will deal with it. To date, he has not dealt with it. He has instead changed the administrator of his good friends here. She has gotten a new administrator. He has changed the administrators of his good friend, Dr. Faith B. Israel, on several occasions. But the administrator I'm stuck with, the least experienced administrator, the one who has, has no allegiance and commitment to what I'm doing, I'm stuck with that one. I'm calling upon Tobagonians to open your eyes, recognize this is an issue of power struggle, where one man built, where one man built his organization, and we have people trying to take it over. People are trying to take it over by using PR stunts and proclaiming themselves as saint. I warn the Chief Secretary, this is about governance, control the emotions, think clearly. When you're ready to drink some cooling bush and smoke the peace pipe, we can share that drink and we can smoke that peace pipe together. I'm serious about Tobago governance. I'm on no fun and games, don't invite me to no VIP party. I'm in none of that with you all. I'm simply to do my job. And I could work with anyone, but be respectful and come and do the correct thing for Tobago and Trinidad and the wider world. I thank you.